I'm Matt Mogensen, and I'm going to explain to you a little bit what a robot does. So a robot has many movable parts. As you can see on the side, off initialization, when we roll forward, we have a tray that comes out of the side of the robot to guide balls around the scissor lift, since our scissor lift is the entire width of our robot. From the conveyor, the balls come up, drop into here, and roll around the conveyor and into the crate. Once the balls are in the crate, they will latch on to a mechanism that holds the crate, which is not attached right now, and using a scissor lift, we can raise the crate up to 11 feet, which I will demonstrate part of. Inside of the robot, what we use to lift the scissor mechanism is an Acme Precision rod given to us by one of our fellow teams at our school. The Acme Precision rod that lifts our scissor lift has eight threads per inch, allowing for maximum speed to torque ratio to lift our scissor lift up to 11 feet in 30 seconds. What are we doing when we're not building, designing, or programming? Community Outreach, of course. This year, we visited summer camps to demonstrate our robots to them and to generate interest in robotics. We even recruited some new members. Also, we've helped a local FLL team get up on its feet for this season. Our most exciting event was on October 25th at Mosey, where we participated in the STEM Summit and had the opportunity to meet the first president. First, of course. Most recently, we hosted a mini build day for several community teams, including Team 50, 18, Brick Buddies. They were able to practice their autonomous modes on our field and test some of their new mechanisms. We also took the time to provide some key build advice. All in all, preparing for this competition has been hectic. Between overcoming obstacles and scoring, this competition should be fun. Shoot!